The newly named North Macedonia is one step closer to becoming the 30th member of NATO after a unanimous vote this week by their parliament in favor of membership. This comes after a protracted dispute with Greece over the country's previous name and even its architecture. It's a political crisis which, as NewsHour Weekend special correspondent Christopher Livesay reports, is reflected in the skyline of the capital city of Skopje. You might not expect big things from the capital of a landlocked Balkan country that's smaller than the state of New Hampshire. But Skopje, North Macedonia, might surprise you. There are the typical tourist sites, like this ancient fortress, and a sprawling Ottoman bazaar where the local specialty, Macedonian peppers, are sold by the bagful. These pale green zeleni paperki are on the hot side. But what really makes Skopje special is this, and this. And these, hundreds of statues and classical looking, but actually brand new facades on dozens of buildings in the city center. What's the name of the square here? Macedonia. Macedonia, Macedonia Square. square. Yes. Nicholas Serbov, a historian and advisor to the state archives, says this was all built by the government just a few years ago, a project called Skopje 2014. The idea was to give a facelift to this formerly communist city boost national pride, and attract tourists, too. In a way, the city has grown into something more beautiful than it used to be. Museums and government buildings boast columns and marble look-alike facades that are meant to look hundreds of years old, but are less than 10. There's also a triumphal arch and two new bridges across the Varda River that have on them about 30 statues each. Not everyone has been impressed. The New York Times called the remodeled city one of the kitschiest capitals on the planet. Tourists we met seemed bemused. It's amazing. We never, we've been in more than 36 countries. We never seen uh, 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 this number of statues everywhere. Somebody mentioned that that is uh, monument, Disneyland monuments. Disneyland monuments? Yes. A lot of comments happen. Zoran Zaev is the head of North Macedonia's ruling party. He was prime minister up until recently. He resigned last month after the country failed to win membership in the European Union. He says the building project, which was launched by the country's previous right-wing nationalist government, is partly to blame for setting the country back. I don't want to comment the style, but I always comment uh, to spend one billion euro. One billion euros. Yes, for that monuments and museums in the center of, center of the, our capital. It's really stupid. It's a very wrong for developing country where is a lot of poor people. In fact, while tourism numbers are up in the last several years, it's still a very small percentage of the country's economy. The average net income here is only about $450 a month. When you walk to the back of the building, you see, well, it's not exactly what it seems. Peeking behind the neoclassical facades gives a glimpse of the reality of how people live. Insulation in most apartments and homes is so bad, heating can cost up to half an average salary. And just one hour south of Skopje, the issue isn't fake facades. Culture heritage to all of us, and it should be something that unites us and not divides us. Archaeologist Gotze Pavlovsky is working on research and protection of the ancient city of Stobi. Here, artifacts like these church mosaics date back to 400 AD. The games would start in the morning. Even older is this Roman theater. And older still, ruins of structures dating to the time of Alexander the Great. For Pavlovsky, it's all part of a bigger picture. Archaeology, he says, shows how people in the region share a single heritage. Modern borders are a kind of political mirage. And who gets to claim this? Who gets to say, this is my history? Humanity. I would say humanity. You, you don't claim history. History is there. History is not the property of certain nation. It's the property of the territory where people live. So the rulers can change, the countries can change, their borders can change, and the history stays there. As for all the statues in Skopje, well, they're subject to history too. Part of our citizens are uh, in favor to take out 
these monuments, to take it out, to it's put it in, in other places. And that costs money also. It's not easier to do, to do that. Every dollar, every dinner, for us it's very precious to find solution for everyday problems. Every money what we have it, we must put in our health system, in our education system, new jobs for our young people. That is the high discussion in our society. Zayev hopes if his pro-Western party wins in upcoming elections this spring, it will help renew the chances the country will be admitted to the EU. Building friendships, he says, is more important than building monuments to the past.